The Boeing EC-135 was a command and control version of the C-135 Strat Holofter. Modified for Operation Looking Glass mission, during the Cold War, EC-135 were airborne 24 hours a day to service flying command platforms for the military in the event of nuclear war. EC-135N served as tracking aircraft for the Apollo space program. Missions equals Advanced Range Instrumentation Aircraft equals The Advanced Range Instrumentation Aircraft are EC-135BS, modified C-135B cargo aircraft and EC-18B passenger aircraft that provided tracking and telemetry information to support the U.S. space program in the late 1960s and early 1970s. During the early 1960s, NASA and the Department of Defense needed a very mobile tracking and telemetry platform to support the Apollo space program and other unmanned space flight operations. In a joint project, NASA and ADUD contracted with the McDonnell Douglas and the Bendix corporations to modify eight Boeing C-135 Stratolifter cargo aircraft into EC-135N Apollo slash range instrumentation aircraft. Equipped with a steerable 7-foot antenna dish in its distinctive droop snoot, or snoopy nose, the EC-135 NARIA became operational in January 1968, and was often known as the Jimmy Durante of the Air Force. The Air Force Eastern Test Range at Patrick AFB, Florida, maintained and operated the ARIA until the end of the Apollo program in 1972 when the USAF renamed it the Advanced Range Instrumentation Aircraft. Since Patrick AFB was located, literally, on the Atlantic Ocean, salt water and salt air-induced corrosion issues and associated aircraft maintenance challenges were problematic for the ARIA while based there. Transferred to the 4950th Test Wing at Wright-Patterson AFB, Ohio, in December 1975 as part of an overall consolidation of large test and evaluation aircraft, the ARIA fleet underwent numerous conversions, including a re-engineing that changed the EC-135N to the EC-135E. In 1994, the ARIA fleet relocated again to Edwards AFB, California, as part of the 412th Test Wing. However, Taskings for the ARIA dwindled because of high costs and improved satellite technology, and the USAF transferred the aircraft to other programs such as EHJ STARS. Over its 32-year career, the ARIA supported the United States space program, gathered telemetry, verified international treaties, and supported cruise missile, ballistic missile defense tests, and the space shuttle. Equals looking glass equals Officially known as Operation Looking Glass provided at least 11 EC-135C command post aircraft to the Commander-in-Chief, Strategic Air Command, which were either based at its headquarters at Ofert AFB, Nebraska operated by the 34th Air Refueling Squadron, 2D Airborne Command and Control Squadron, 7th Airborne Command and Control Squadron, Barksdale AFB, Louisiana operated by the 913th Air Refueling Squadron, Ellsworth AFB, South Dakota operated by the 4th Airborne Command and Control Squadron, Grissom AFB, Indiana operated by the 3D Airborne Command and Control Squadron, or at Westover AFB, Massachusetts operated by the 99th Air Refueling Squadron, 1963 Euro 1970. Other EC-135 aircraft were min at AFB. North Dakota operated by the 906th Air Refueling Squadron, 1963 Euro 1970, Grissom AFB, Indiana operated by the 70th Air Refueling Squadron, Lockburn AFB, Ohio operated by the 301st Air Refueling Squadron. All aircraft have been retired or repurposed. The U.S. nuclear strategy depends on its ability to command, control, and communicate with its nuclear forces under all conditions. An essential element of that ability is looking glass. Its crew and staff ensure there is always an aircraft ready to direct bombers and missiles from the air should ground-based command centers be destroyed or rendered inoperable. Looking glass is intended to guarantee that U.S. strategic forces will act only in the manner dictated by the president. It took the nickname looking glass, because the mission mirrored ground-based command, control and communications. Besides being the program name, Looking Glass is the official name for the C-model aircraft of the EC-135. 
it has a crew of at least 15, including at least one or more general officers. The Strategic Air Command began the Looking Glass mission on February 3, 1961 and Looking Glass aircraft were continuously airborne 24 hours a day for over 29 years, accumulating more than 281,000 accident-free flying hours. On July 24, 1990, the Glass ceased continuous airborne alert, but remained on ground or airborne alert 24 hours a day. The EC-135A flew the command post mission until EC-135C were delivered starting in 1963. The aircraft were delivered to OFAT AFB and as well as one aircraft to each of the Statesi numbered Air Force headquarters, 2nd Air Force at Barksdale AFB, LA, 8th Air Force at Westover AFB, MA, and 15th Air Force at March AFB. Chi ec 135s flew all the missions except one. When an E-4B was tested on an operational mission, flying a double sortie as the replacement aircraft could not launch due to weather. About a week after the flight, Washington deleted the funds for additional E-4 aircraft. On June 1, 1992, SAC was inactivated and replaced by the United States Strategic Command, which now controls the looking glass. On October 1, 1998, the Navy's E-6 Mercury TACAMO replaced the USAFCC 135C in the Looking Glass mission. Equals Silk Purse equals Operation Silk Purse program provided for EC-135H command post aircraft to the commander, U.S. European Command, which were based at RAF Mildenhall in the United Kingdom. Flown by the 10th Airborne Command and Control Squadron 1970-87 equals scope light equals operation scope light provided 5 EC 135 JP command post aircraft to the commander in chief US Atlantic command which were based at Langley AFB far operated by the 6th airborne command and control squadron 1972-92 equals blue eagle equals operation blue eagle provided 5 EC 135 JP command post aircraft to the commander in chief U.S. Pacific Command, which were based at Hickam AFB, HI. Operated by the 9th Airborne Command and Control Squadron 1969-92. Communications, secure unsecure voice and teletype, handled by the 1957th Communications Group, Hickam AFB, HI. Upkeep was the call sign for the EC-135 flying in Southeast Asia during 1969-1971 based out of Hickam AFB Hawaii. It was under the direction of PACAF of which 5th AF and Fuse UAS, Tokyo Japan handled their voice communications both unsecure and secure. Equals Nightwatch equals, Operation Nightwatch provided 3 EC-135J command post aircraft to the President of the United States which were based at Andrews AFB, MD. All three aircraft were transferred to other ABNCP missions. Nightwatch was initiated in the mid-1960s utilizing the three EC-135J aircraft, modified from KC-135BS, as command post aircraft. The three Nightwatch aircraft were ready to fly the President and the National Command Authority out of Washington in the event of a nuclear attack. The E-4 aircraft came online with the Nightwatch program in 1974 replacing the EC-135s on this mission. Variant Summary EC-135A, KC-135A modified for Airborne National Command post role, EC-135B, C-135B modified with large nose for ARIA mission, EC-135C, purpose-built C-135 variant for Airborne Command post role, looking glass, EC-135E, re-engined EC-135N, EC-135G. KC-135A modified for Airborne National Command post role, EC-135H, KC-135A modified for Airborne National Command post. Role, Silk Purse, EC-135J, KC-135B modified for Airborne National Command post role, Nightwatch, EC-135K, KC-135A modified for deployment control duties, EC-135L, KC-135A modified for radio relay and amplitude modulation dropout capability cover all, EC-135N, ARIA aircraft with Snoopy nose, 
EC-135JP, KC-135A modified for airborne command post role, Blue Eagle, and scope light, EC-135Y, NKC-135 reconfigured as C-3 aircraft for Commander-in-Chief, United States Central Command. Accidents, on June 13, 1971. USAF EC 135N of 4950th Test Wing, Space and Missile Systems Organization, Wright Patterson AFB, OH disappeared while en route from Pago Pago, American Samoa to Hickam AFB, HI after monitoring a French atmospheric test conducted on the previous day. The aircraft disappeared about 70 miles south of Hawaii near Palmyra Island. Twelve military personnel and twelve civilians died cause of the mishap is unknown. Only small bits of wreckage were found. On September 14, 1977, USAF EC-135K crashed on takeoff from Kirtland Air Force Base, NM for a higher headquarters directed mission. After a long crew duty period, the crew started its takeoff roll at a few minutes prior to midnight. The aircraft impacted the ground 8 kilometers east of the departure base because it lacked sufficient power to either climb above or turn to avoid rapidly rising terrain in that area. All 20 occupants of this tactical air command operated aircraft were killed in the crash and subsequent fire at about 8,500 feet up the Vanzano mountain range east of Albuquerque, NM. On January 2, 1980. USAF EC-135P was destroyed on the ground at Langley AFB, VA when an electrical short occurred in the water injection tank to wiring on the J-57PF-59W equipped aircraft. There were no injuries as the tactical air command aircraft was unoccupied at the time of the mishap. On May 6, 1981. USAF EC-135N crashed during a scheduled advanced range instrumented aircraft navigator and primary mission electronic equipment training mission from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, OH. For an unexplained reason, the aircraft pitch trim was moved to the full nose-down position, which exceeded the ability of the autopilot to control, and the aircraft pitched over abruptly. The aircraft commander was occupying the right pilot seat and a passenger, his wife, occupied the left pilot seat. The abrupt pitch over caused the generators to trip offline and the loss of AC electrical power prevented the pitch trim from being operated normally. The aircraft became uncontrollable and exploded at about 1,500 feet MSL. The crash occurred near Walkersville, Maryland at 10.50 L. All 17 crew members and four passengers on board the aircraft were killed. On May 29, 1992, USAF EC-135J landed long at Pope AFB, NC and overshot the runway. The undercarriage collapsed and the fuselage broke in two. Although none of the 14 occupants were seriously injured, the aircraft was written off as damaged beyond repair and the remains were removed to Davis Mongan AFB, AZ for disposal. On September 2, 1997, USAF EC-135C was heavily damaged on landing at Pope AFB, NC when the nose wheel collapsed. None of the 11 occupants was injured significantly, but the Air Combat Command aircraft was 32 years and 10 months old at the time of the accident and was written off as damaged beyond repair. Survivors, EC-135A is on display at Ofert Air Force Base, Nebraska. EC-135C is undergoing restoration at the Strategic Air and Space Museum in Ashland, Nebraska. EC-135E is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force, at Wright-Patterson AFB near Dayton, Ohio. The aircraft is a former Apollo-slash-range instrumentation aircraft, and is displayed in the museum's outside air park. The aircraft was flown to the museum on November 3, 2000 by a flight crew from the Air Force Flight Test Center, and was delivered with full prime mission electronic equipment intact. EC-135J is on display at the Pima Air and Space Museum adjacent to Davis Mongan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. EC-135L is on display at the Grissom Air Museum, adjacent to Grissom Air Reserve Base near Peru, Indiana. The aircraft was last assigned to the 305th Air Refueling Wing and retired in 1992, at the end of the Cold War.
The EC-135L was manufactured by Boeing Aircraft, Seattle, Washington. It was delivered to the Air Force on December 8, 1961. Assigned to Grissom AFB in 1970, the aircraft flew many missions during Operation Just Cause, Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. For the latter, it performed radio relay operations leading to the elimination of two Iraqi aircraft, over 60 tank kills, and 27 Scud missile strikes. EC-135N is on display at the Museum of Aviation at Robbins Air Force Base in Warner Robbins, Georgia. This model was originally an EC-135A, but was converted to an EC-135N in 1966 with a snoopy nose, but the drooping nose was later reverted to the original nose. An EC-135A is part of the aircraft collection at the South Dakota Air and Space Museum adjacent to Ellsworth AFB near Rapid City, South Dakota. It was last assigned to the 4th Airborne Command and Control Squadron, 28th Bomb Wing at Ellsworth. References External links Historic American Engineering Record No. NE-9B, Ofert Air Force Base, Looking Glass Airborne Command Post, Looking Glass Aircraft, on Operational Apron Covering Northeast Half of Project Looking Glass Historic District, Bellevue, Sarpy County, NE.